Well, my um, role today here is to demonstrate to our community in Western Australia that there is a need for reconciliation. And looking around this room, I can tell you, you've answered that. So thank you all for coming out this morning. Thank you all for being a part of what we've been fighting for for a long time as Aboriginal people. And when I look around and see the elders in the room, my family in this room, there's some of who have suffered, some of you who have walked through this life that they have led for us and how we can stand here strong. Who tells us to toughen up? We are tough. We are strong. Many of them have been, you know, we talked about the racial uh, motivated ignorance that happens to us, whether it's on social media, behind gutless words, whether it's on the street, whether it's in the audience in a football field. We are strong and we are here and we belong. A lot of the stress and impact that's caused on our people is very strong. But I think when you look at what was played for us today, we don't have to keep telling our story because we are walking together with people who have influence and people who can change this if we walk together. Who would have thought that we would have had the commitment to the Uluru Statement from the heart in what we showed today? Who would have thought the West Coast Eagles would have come out and done what they've done for young Liam Ryan and the players in that club? Because I tell you what, I've got a story with Russell. Oh, my God, I'll tell you about it. I'm going to make it a little bit light because it's a little bit heavy. I met Russell and I ripped into him about we need to do something as West Coast Eagles supporters and members to educate our members after all the booing and carrying on around um, Lewis Jetta. So we were supposed to have a pretty intense meeting and he just heard me because I just left the game on the Sunday of the last game at Subiaco Oval and I was wild. And I was doing, going on about it and I realised I'm talking to the chair of the West Coast Eagles because we were going into a Hawaiian meeting. So I was in another place. I was still at the football ground. So we heard a passionate mad woman go off about what the Eagles need to do for us as people firsthand. So thank you, Russell, for being with us today. Um, and I think that's the passion of what we can do together. Sometimes we've got to uh, walk through, walk through, and I, I'm, I'm struggling. I tell you what, I probably won't be able to get out of bed tomorrow, but I've been a little bit sick with my throat, and that was um, football last weekend. Um, some of us have heard around, we need to create awareness. We need to look at education. All of our speakers and our um, keynote speaker, Ken White, he said to me, I can't cry. If I talk about you, I will cry, my brother. I am so proud of you. And all of us in the room are so proud of you. So I can't say I can't cry because the pain is in us. The pain is in us. They tried to bury us as Aboriginal people, but they didn't know that we were the seeds. And these seeds are the seeds that you will take away with you today to help build and grow a stronger community for us as a people so that our young people can walk with a sense of pride, walk in this land and trust that we've got a long walk of reconciliation together. It's not just going to be a part of reconciliation as a word. It'll be a part of a standard practice, as we heard from some of our speakers. We need amazing resolutions to come together for our people to have a much stronger societal construct, as what Nolan talked about, developing values, justice and equality, but also two strong principles to support our recognition. And the evidence base is all there. We do not need more reports about our people. We know what we need to fix and the time is now for change. Justice and equality is not what we want to look at. We want to look at pride and our cultural resilience as the strength of who we are as Aboriginal people. No more good intentions, but we need to think about what can we do. Today, you need to think about what you can do and how you can influence and change the views in our society. Historical policies and legislative impact are gone. We are making new policies together. Our brother here has told us today that he will work with us and that's what we need to see. Our identity is still here. We are still strong. My aunties and uncles in this room for what you have endured and that you can still walk with us with pride. It's time to make the changes together. Look around the room, look around your tables. Look, and I think it's not about coming together for a breakfast. You're coming together for a change movement because we will be chasing you up. So you've already said you're on the journey with us. 
Um, this afternoon, we have our walk re reconciliation down at um, Yagan Square. If you want to put some energy into what you can do in your own influence, get on that walk and be a part of the numbers because it's around a numbers game. And I think we as Aboriginal people, we will still keep fighting. We will still be here. But I tell you what, we are proud. We are strong. Nala Kurut, it's our heart. Nala Buja, our land. And Nala Mut is our people. So thank you for being a part of this. And you are, you have a responsibility now because we know where we can come to to make the changes we need to see in Western Australia. Thank you.